Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Oscar Mikey and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You guys have never really seen this before. This is my setup. It looks pretty clean right now, but this, that's just because I moved everything under the table. All the trash is just under here out of frame. You can't see it. But today, IRL video. Very exciting. A company called Antlion Audio contacted me. They emailed me and they said, hey, we like your content. We like your VR videos that you've, been, that you've been doing recently, especially. And we were curious if you wanted to review one of our products. And I was like, holy shit, Antlion Audio is contacting me out of the blue. That's really cool. But I've never really, I've never done a hardware review before on this channel or anywhere else for that matter. So I was like, sure, I guess, question mark. That's super cool. And I really like this product. I've heard of Antlion Audio before. They are pretty established in the gamer kind of audio community. Um, a lot of their products have been reviewed by other way more high profile people than, people than me before. But yeah, I just jumped at the chance to review this product and they were kind enough to send me out a copy. Um, I guess I should get through the ethics of this first because that's the thing all YouTubers do pretty much. I've never done it before, but um, they sent this to me for specifically for a review, but they are not in any way paying for or influencing me to say anything about this product whatsoever. Everything that you hear, everything that I say, all my opinions in this video are my own and haven't been influenced in any way. So that's uh, just the ethics out of the way for you guys. But yeah, let's get started uh, and I'm going to show you, we're going to go through an unboxing first and I'm going to show you what this product's all about, what's in here. Alright, well first things first, if you're unboxing something on YouTube, everybody knows that you need a fancy knife to open the boxes. So, I've got my fancy knife. Oh, eh, eh, ah, oh shit, I'm mangling the box. There it is. I hope they don't mind my swearing on camera. Ugh. Oh, this is actually pretty unexpected. Look at this. Oh, oh my god, it comes in like a little like zipper carrying pouch. That's pretty sick. Let me get the box out of here. There's no There's no documentation anywhere in the box. Doesn't look like there might be some in there, but let's get rid of that. And yeah, check this out. Holy crap, this thing comes in a really You know, it's a solid like zippered carrying pouch. That's pretty nice actually. I wasn't expecting that. And boom, there it is. Everything. You got a little bit of documentation here. Read this. Uh, your mod mic comes with USB extension cable and cable anchor. Use these to keep your wireless receiver in line of sight so you can tell when it's muted or, or low on batteries. That's really nice. There's a visual indicator on the receiver that tells you uh, what's going on with it, what kind of state it's in. That's really nice. And here it is. All the cables. There's the product itself, the mod mic wireless. Let's take all the accessories out first. That's the little receiver. I guess you can just plug that straight into your computer or you can use the extension cable, which is right here. Here's your extension. That just plugs in like that. And then you plug this end into your computer. I think this is, you just need USB 2 for this. I don't think USB, I don't think it requires USB 3. And you got another cable here. Uh, this might be for charging. Yeah, micro USB. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> That's your charging cable. And you got a couple of little accessories here. These are the little anchors that you stick on your headphones. I guess I should probably describe to you guys what this product is for. So this is basically a wireless microphone, right? It's for gaming headsets. And let's just say that you, you're not really happy with all the gaming headsets out there. All the, all the headsets that come with microphones on them, they're all kind of crappy quality, right? So the aim of this product is to give you a high quality, like broad, almost broadcast style microphone to attach to any of your favorite uh, headsets that don't have a microphone already installed. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. Something like this. I've got my Bear Dynamic DT900 Pro X. These I use for editing. And these are really nice headphones. These are really like clear and sharp and really detailed. And if I wanted to, I could put one of these anchors on the side of my headphones here. Just put it like right there or something. And then attach this uh, mod mic. Let's take the mod mic out of the, out of the little box actually. So yeah, it has a little uh, magnetic attachment um, kind of thing on the back here. And I could put an anchor on this guy and just attach it like this and then boom, I've got a, a set of Barodynamic, uh, really high quality Barodynamic headphones with a high quality microphone attached. And I can remove the microphone whenever I want to for charging or if I want to put it on another headset. They do sell the anchors separately. So if you want to, oh, it's hanging onto the cables there, that's cool. Feels like a pretty strong magnet. You can put this on, you can get more of these things and put them on more headsets if you want, which is really nice. That's the basic idea of the mod mic, here it is. 
We've got that little magnetic attachment um, thing at the back. It is kind of keyed, so you can rotate it a little bit once it's on the once it's on the anchor. It's got two modes of pickup, so there's an omnidirectional and a cardioid pickup pattern. Cardioid is a little bit more focused. It's gonna give you a little bit more compression and like direct pickup of your voice. The rep at Antlion did tell me that the omnidirectional mode is higher fidelity, so I'll have to go in and test that myself. The microphone itself does come with a little pop shield on there, like a foam uh, pop shield, whatever you wanna call this thing. And it does seem to work. It doesn't pick up as much uh, plosives as uh, it probably would without it. Microphone arm is pretty stiff, which is good. I don't want it to be too loose. It's just flexible enough to like stay put wherever you wherever you bend it. So you kink it, you angle it in towards your mouth and it's gonna stay there. I feel pretty confident about that. And here's your multifunction button. This is gonna be for like turn, turning it on and off and muting and that kind of thing. It is compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux, and PS4. Sorry, Xbox people, it's not compatible with Xbox. It's got a 12 hour battery life. I'd say about 10 to 12 hours. That's been my experience. Here's your charging port right here and for connecting to the computer for drivers or whatever, I guess. Um, micro USB. This product has been around for a long time, actually. Really surprised they haven't updated this to USB-C. I would like to see an updated version of this. And it's going for about $140 right now, $140 USD on Amazon. So let's get right into the audio testing. This, what you're listening to right now, is the Mod Mic Wireless on the unidirectional setting. It's Again, it's got two modes. It's got unidirectional and omnidirectional. You can change the mode actually uh, right on the microphone itself. If you look down by the microphone capsule, there's a little switch there you, that you can use to toggle between these two modes. And one more thing I do want to mention, I think I said that there is some like software, some uh, like companion uh, applications or software that you need to install on your computer. That is not true. That is actually not correct. You do not need to install anything on your computer for this to work. I just plugged it into my machine and the drivers installed automatically and it was set up and good to go. Uh, no edits. This is completely unedited. It might be boosted a little bit for volume, but I haven't applied any kind of EQ or... Uh, DSing or compression or anything like that. This is 100% raw. Um, it sounds pretty typical. You know, I was a little bit disappointed when I heard this for the first time, but it's pretty typical of like most gaming headsets. A lot of headsets you could get off them, like from Logitech and HyperX. They sound like this. The comms are really clear on it, but it doesn't sound it doesn't sound nice you know it doesn't have that fidelity it doesn't have that low end that fullness that i want and uh you know this could work really well for like competitive comms if you're playing cs or valorant or something like that but yeah it just doesn't have that fullness that i'm looking for and this right here this is the pa de resistance to this microphone this is the omnidirectional setting and you do notice a big jump in quality on this I think this is the reason why a lot of people were so hyped about this product, right? Because you switch it to Omni and it does sound way more high fidelity. It is still lacking a little bit of the low end, but this is amazing, right? This sounds really good for a wireless microphone. I don't really know why we've come to this standard. We've kind of rested or arrived at this standard for wireless um, like gaming headset microphones where it's just kind of tinny and thin and comp over, over compressed and there's no really like body to the sound. There's no like low end oomph. It doesn't sound full or natural at all. And everybody seems to be okay with that. That seems to be the standard. I like this microphone because it's pushing that boundary. You have both those settings if you want. You have the ultra compressed, you know, unidirectional mode if you want to use that for competitive comms. But then you also have the uh, omnidirectional mode if you want something a little bit more full, you want it to sound more natural with a little bit more bass. Um, this would definitely get my recommend for a VR content creator, especially, or if you're just someone who wants to share your VR content with a better quality microphone, this is definitely a good pickup. But also if you're just a gamer that is sick and tired of, you know, the cheap kind of tinny, thin, over-compressed microphones that come on a lot of gaming headsets these days, um, there are some exceptions, like Corsair is doing some pretty great stuff with microphones these days, but this is still an amazing option. If you want to go wireless, especially if you want to use like a more high fidelity headset, and a really big plus to this thing is that you can carry it over to multiple headsets, right? It's easy to get more anchors and put those on all your headsets and you can just transfer this thing over and you can use it on the same machine with multiple headsets, no problem. Another big reason why I was pretty excited to try out the Mod Mic Wireless was um, obviously because I've been getting into VR a little bit now. That's actually how these guys found me. And um, I'm going to show you guys my current setup. It's kind of janky. It's a little bit janky, but it puts out pretty good quality. Boosh. <laughs> So this is my setup for my Quest 3 that I've been using. Um, pretty, pretty ugly, right? Pretty janky, pretty heavy. 
definitely lots of cables going around. So this is how everything's going. I've got a Y splitter. I've got one side plugged into the uh, into the output of the audio recorder, and then the other end is plugged into the headset. And then I've got another output here going into my headphones. So I'm getting the audio from the recorder. I've got my zero latency monitoring going in there, and I have the headset audio going into my headphones, which is really nice. And then the microphone that's capturing it is plugged into the recorder and it's kind of going around here and sitting on this little magnetic mount on the front. So this is a little lav microphone. I got this little cheap magnetic mount off Amazon. And this is the Rode Lav Mic Plus, I think, something like that, Lavalier Lav Mic Plus. And it sounds really good, I think. Um, this setup is ungodly and heavy and just really bad looking, but you know what? It sounds good. Dang it, it sounds good. But um, if I don't have to use a setup like this, then I definitely don't want to, because this is a little bit much. And this is kind of what my setup looks like now. I do have, this is a third party, kind of elite style head strap that I bought for the uh, headset, and it works really well. The mod mic fits pretty well on it. I put it on the left side, and uh, yeah, this is working out pretty well. All right, guys, final thoughts on this thing. This is a really great product. This is a really good wireless microphone. It is a little bit expensive for what it is. You can get like entire gaming headsets that come with the headphones and the microphone, like all in one uh, package. But this thing does offer something pretty unique. Um, you can take it off pretty easily and attach it to any headset you want. So if you have something uh, really fancy like these, or you just have another um, set of headphones that you really like, you can snap them on just like that and you can you can transfer them back and forth between everything really easily and it's a good high quality microphone um, it's wireless which is another uh, big plus you don't need to worry about any cables or anything like that so i think i would recommend this to somebody if they had a lot of headphones that they wanted to use for gaming not maybe not necessarily gaming headphones but like just you know bare dynamics and maybe you got like a hi fi uh sundara or something like that you're like a headphone enthusiast you're maybe a little bit of an audiophile and you care about good microphones audio quality, you like wireless, then I think this is worth it. I think this is a good pickup. But if you don't care, <laughs> and I know there are a lot of you out there and I don't I don't blame you if you don't care. It's, it's a totally valid point. It's a totally valid position, position to be coming from. You're probably better off going with a actual gaming headset like a HyperX Cloud 2s or something maybe. I know the 3s are out now. I don't know how much that costs actually. But just get like a, a Razer Black Shark or something like that. This is uh, too expensive to justify the cost if you're on a budget. As high quality as it is and as much as I geek out about the sound quality on this thing, if you're on a, if you're on a tight budget, you might be better off going with a, an actual gaming headset. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to Antline Audio for sending this over to me for a review. Um, I really like this product. They have a bunch of other uh, products too. They have wired mod mics that actually have really good sound quality. I think they might even be a little bit better than this thing. But uh, yeah, go check them out. There's going to be links in the description for you if you want to do that. Um, I'm going to leave an Amazon link to this too if you want to pick it up for yourself. Maybe for the holidays, a little treat for yourself or a gift for someone. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful, make sure you leave a like on it for me and maybe leave a comment too. It really helps with getting discovered on YouTube and appeasing the algorithm and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, maybe consider getting subscribed so you don't miss any future content. Uh, gaming content uh, in the future. I don't know if I'll be doing any more tech reviews. I'm not really a tech reviewer, but this was still a lot of fun. I really had a lot of fun making this video. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you uh, in the next video.